Why can I please just go, Mr. Alligator? Just let me race. I hope you all burn in hell. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lost on Steam episode seven. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in like, well, at least exactly seven days. So let's just get this out of the way real quick. I know you guys have noticed that my eyes all red. I was at a bar recently, got kind of drunk, said some things that I didn't, no, I didn't get in a fight. I don't leave the house. That's like, let's be real here. I live in a house full of germ monsters and basically my eyes just really irritated because I like, anyway, this is not the point. The point is, we're digging up more games that pretty much no one's ever heard of, as usual. Three games we're covering today, you ask? Rinzo Racer, uh, Bugs Must Die, and Townsman A Kingdom Rebuilt. These are all fairly new titles, but they had very few reviews. And as always, if you're familiar with the show, all the time codes will be in the description below so you can blah 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 shift to your favorite game. Let's begin. Game number one! Okay, here we go. So, this game is called Rinzo Racer. This came out May 30th, 2017, long time ago. $5 currently in early access for like a million years. I don't know anything about it, but I know that we probably want to do Grand Prix. That's where we're going. Oh, look, we play as little mouse person. And we're going to do the Sunflower Cup so we can choose from, hold on, the Sunflower Cup, the Leaf Cup, the Apple, the Acorn, and then the Bolt Cup. One of these things is not like the other. Let's begin. Uh, return, change, uh, throttle. That's all I needed. All I need is the go button. All these other buttons are just gonna slow me down. Like literally one of them is the brake, so then it, this is what I mean. All right, so we're just gonna get, get going here. Oh, that's a speed arrow. Okay, well, actually I feel like that gave us a boost. Hold on. What is that? A weird wolf or a bear? I don't, I don't know, but I'm gonna draw bombs on him. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. Okay, one of them actually exploded and gave me a little bit of boost. We drove over an owl just now. We're going to pass the uh, alligator, no problem. Bump him off the track like a dick that we are. See, the driving in this game is not... I'm not going to say it's not good. Whoa, whoa. Oh, the boost. Who has all these rockets? Get out of here, you stupid... Mole? What are you? You're a mole. Turtle? I don't know. Oh, God. We were doing so well. All right, let's take the boost. Drift the corner. Okay, brakes actually do nothing. Oh, this dick has rockets. Don't hit me. Don't hit me with them. Don't rocket me, bro. Okay, we're taking the secret path. If I could actually drive this garbage car. Oh! We went from, like, last to fifth. Oh, wow. The person in first won by like 15 seconds. Let's just continue. This is a Mega Man song? Hold on. I, I am like 2000% sure that this is a remix of a Mega Man song that they have no business using. Oh God, just the turn on this is awful. Mole, he's taking his revenge from the last map. Oh, he's mad. You, oh. I hate, I hate, I, <laughs> please just let me go. Why, why? Ah, everything about this makes me mad. Why can I please just go, Mr. Alligator? Just let me race. I hope you all burn in hell. Oh, oh, please. My car is stuck. You don't need to rock at me. I'm already out. Why? I'm already out of the race. You don't need to hit me again with rockets. Oh. Oh, shit. Please turn. Please. Pass me, I dare. Oh. This is where we make our jump. This is... Oh, two... Hey, you know, at least he stopped me before I hit the wall. Speed boost. I can see first... I swear to God... The AI has some shroud, like, sniper scope aim with their rockets. Ha ha, later loot. 
Do you see what I'm talking about? I'm not exaggerating. The moment you get one pixel into their line of sight, they have like an ion cannon from space targeting your heat signature. That's great. I'm, I am happy this happened. Yeah, yeah, hey, thanks. Yeah, how's that feel? <laughs> Stop, please. You cannot, okay, there needs to be more than just rockets in this damn game. Oh, oh, oh why does every... All right, so you just go fast enough, you just drive through all the obstacles. Please, if you break, it just, it just jams up your gears and your axle. We touched him and we flipped upside down. Oh, are we actually about to take second? We're geniuses. Oh, please, I never want to play this again. Da, 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 da. Don't you like our animal racing game? It's actually bad. This game, just gonna, let's just, you know, cut to the chase. Hard fail. This game is a hard fail. You should not play this. I don't think this game is ever coming out of early access. I don't think it's actually even been developed anymore. Everything is wrong about this. It's awful. You can't drive, you can't turn. There's about three items in total in this entire game. It just makes me very, very sad and I wish to no longer play it, so let's continue. Game two. Okay, so this game is called Bugs Must Die. This came out April 5th, 2019. It has nine reviews. Basically, no one is playing this. Uh, we're just gonna hop right in. Just toss that in there so we don't have to deal with them. Let's upgrade our shotgun because I really enjoy the shotgun. This game is uh, becoming yeah, definitely a personal favorite. All right, so we got a lot of shotgun ammo. Let's just keep taking these dudes out. And again, we need to destroy oil drums. That's fine. That's easy enough. Just chuck that over there. Chuck that over there. Whoa, you will not. I'm the metal dashing, shotgun wielding super tank. Ow, that was actually like a great shot, I'm not gonna lie. That's not okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Okay, we're gonna die. I didn't know this area was like, hey, by the way, do you just wanna lose immediately? All right, let's just play it cool. We're real fast now, which basically, We have our special ready. We have our gear storm. We cannot die. You heard it here first. Okay, we got that one. I cannot move anywhere. Okay, we got, ah, uh, we took some damage. That's fine, let's just. Okay, another one down. Let's just move real carefully and cautiously. Oh, I'm not even looking at, I'm honestly not even looking at where we're really shooting. I'm just trying to follow all of the projectiles. And I think this is probably the only way you can really play this game. Because I think if you're focused on where you're shooting, you're just gonna get hit by everything. There we go, it's a, whoa. That wasn't fair. He started shooting before we was even on the screen. All right, carpet bomb. Do the super. Do the million volt. Try some nonsense. I dare you. It's fine. We're just focused on doing as much damage as we can. Staying right here. Switch to the broiling saw. Oh, I think the broiling saw was the right idea. Do a melee because we can just toss it in there. Do another broiling saw. Another broiling saw. Oh God, oh God, oh, how are you supposed to dodge this? This is impossible. Return to the ground? Oh, why would you freeze me right in the middle? Oh, okay, okay, it's, it's, it's slow, it's slow speed, slow speed. Was not worried for even a second. Oh my God. So a couple things. There obviously, you know, when you go in here, there's, you know, three vehicles that you already have to start from. There's two more that you can unlock. There's all these different drones, which do really interesting things. 
there are obviously different weapons that you can use and then they they power up as you're playing you have all these sub weapons which are super cool air support and a melee deal and we're going back to gear storm so we don't forget the controls feel great i didn't feel ever like i got hit because of the game or like some weird physics it was just tight it was fun to play everything about this uh is high quality and i love it and honestly this would be great on like the switch doing a handheld deal or on the ps4 or xbox so either way this game is great moving on game number three moving on so now we have townsman a kingdom rebuilt this came out February 26, 2019, currently $20, so it's a little bit more expensive than our normal titles. We're gonna hop in. Hey, I'm an old lady. Welcome to our humble village, Governor. I hope you had a pleasant voyage. I did, thank you for asking. Okay, so this is a uh, a building. Would you, I have pressed the wrong button. I, I pressed a button and it crashed the game. I pressed D. Apparently D is the exit and crash your game button. We're gonna try this again. Hold on, I gotta pet the cat. Okay, cat petting accomplished. The lumberjack has finally had enough. Well, why did he become a lumberjack? A townhouse? Okay, let's build a townhouse. Where are we gonna put it? I don't know. Uh, Here, I guess. How do I get my one worker? This guy's currently carrying things. I got it now, I understand it. So this one worker is carrying supplies to and from the castle. Which there's a pit there and that's fine. So is anyone working on this right now? Oh, this dude is, look at him go. Yo, what is that? Hey, there's a free helmet. If anyone wanted a free helmet there? What was that noise? I definitely heard a noise that sounded like a growling grizzly bear. Also, can we talk about what happened here? Like, you guys just accidentally the dynamite, or? Oh, there he goes. He's working on it. So we got a worker that's kind of just digging in a big hole right now. I'm going to assume that's progress. Oh, wait. No, he's done. He said, you know what? Screw this. I don't want to dig a giant hole anymore. Hey, that's a great top-notch hole that you're digging right in the center of the town. Look at that. It's a brand new house. Having enough workers is very important for our economy. Yeah, I mean, that's like the basics of economy. Okay, well, we need to build a uh, fire tower. No, 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 no. How do we build? Oh, wait, sawmill? Forester's hut? Nope. Oh, here we go. Sawmill. So we're a little bit short on wood, but that's fine. We do have a worker going and we can, we learn that we can put it down before it's even ready to go, which is great. So there is someone assigned here. We can actually assign two people to build that. So that's, that should speed it up. Um, okay, hold on. This says no worker available for the mine. Okay, that does actually seem important. So why don't we do this? Take one worker out of here, right click this and assign someone to the mine. Congrats, whoever just got assigned to the mine. Enjoy your black lung. How dare you uh, be... Oh, wait. I assigned him to be asleep first. So that was actually my fault. Sorry, dude. Someone's got to work the mines, and it's not going to be me. I'm here to rule over my peasant fiefdom. Right. I get it. So we can track our individual people. So if you want to see where they are, what they're doing. So we can track this one guy. So if we fast forward, we're watching him go to the, the stores, come back. He's going to finish our sawmill right now. That's kind of neat. I like that feature. I definitely like that feature. And I, I'm not a big builder. You know, I'm not a big uh, builder kind of a, a guy. This is not my normal. Ooh. So now we have a sawmill. There's a guy making wood planks. We can't upgrade because that's still locked, but we did it. Very good, governor. More income tax. All right. Research. Oh, this is neat. This is neat. Right, so that's going. So we can see research there. Every time uh, you reach a new level, you should call it a day and eat something. Don't you dare tell me how to spend my time. I will send you directly to the gallows if you ever should suggest that I should be doing something other than what I'm doing. We should probably build more houses so we have more workers. Yeah, let's... We won because we're the greatest. Okay, so we're going to wrap up there with Townsman, A Kingdom Rebuilt. Uh, very cool game. 
I'm enjoying the kind of build structure. You know, if you, it's not quite as intense as say uh, a rim world or a door fortress, but as far as building and making a community and having goals and all that, it's a neat game. And this is not normally my kind of game and even I'm enjoying this. So it's definitely well made. It's easy to kind of track what's going on and, and follow your people. Overall, just a, a well-made, interesting game. And again, it's made by a division of THQ Nordic, so they have a track record of a lot of good uh, uh, good titles and good games. So I'm not surprised that uh, this is coming out from... The price is a little bit high, uh, but that's generally for like indie games, anything more, anything more than 15 is high. Anything above 10 is like, well, your indie game better be very good. So the price I think will probably turn some people off, but as soon as this goes on sale, instant buy for anyone who likes strategy building um but anyway we need to wrap up there this was lost on steam episode seven hopefully you found one or two games that you liked or maybe one racing game that you didn't like when i review games during the week or in one of these lost on steams i have a a, a curator group that i put all the reviews there so you can check the new videos and whether it's recommended or not follow it if you want or if not no big deal other than that you can catch a new episode every week on Sundays. So until uh, until next Sunday, burn bright, everybody. Hope you enjoyed.